What is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive. Happy Labor Day. Today we're ripping into a product that I have not opened in quite some time. This is my fifth time opening the Millennium Box from our friends at SlaterSportsCards.com. The same guys that bring you the Retro Wax Box that I've opened here for the last few years. And tonight we're going to switch it up a bit and check out some different years of cards. This has inside of it 9 to 11 packs of baseball cards from the years 95 up through 2005. And some pretty um, premium packs, I would say, and just packs I don't get to open all that often. These are in stock on the website right now. They are $79.99, and it is free shipping on all of their products. They also have basketball and football products offered on there also. Let's crack into this and see just what packs we have on the agenda so right off the bat here we have 98 series one from finest which is a pack i don't get to open all too often probably most of these packs are ones i have not ripped in quite a while don was 2002 Vladdy guerrero on the pack top we got 99 fleer ultra with scott Rowland, 97 fleer this is probably i opened uh i think two retail boxes of 97 fleer way back probably when i started my channel and tons of inserts seated throughout those packs we have 03 Bowman Chrome. Look for autograph first year base cards, four cards in that pack. We have 04 Bowman Chrome with Delman Young on top of the pack. 98 Donner's Collections. These packs and boxes are very expensive. I feel like a box of those is typically like 300 bucks, maybe even a little bit more. The last time I saw these, 2004 SPX. It's a pretty awesome one there. And look at that. We have 04 Tops Hunt for Yachty Molina Rookie Card in Series 1. So... We have before us nine different packs here and the chance to pull some pretty awesome insert cards and even rookies as well. Let's start out with, uh, we'll start out with 97 Fleer. Chipper Jones on top of the pack. David Ortiz was in Series 2 this year. This is Series 1 hobby pack. Made out of the recycled paper. We got John Wetland starting us off. Todd Hollinsworth. I was real pumped on him in the mid-90s. There's Tony Gwynn. He's had the Gaudi reprints in them, the insert set. We, it looks like we do have an insert here. He said Fleer loaded these up. Kevin Indian, look at that. We have a Golden Memories Barry Bonds right off the bat. I've seen these before, but it's not all too often. That's pretty nice. It's a 10-card insert set. Love or hate him, Barry Bonds insert card. Starting things off. Put that off to the side. There we go. Move on. Quentin McCracken. I don't recall ever being pumped on him. We got Frank Thomas. A nice one. Also, Darren Oliver and Brad Klontz. They're very hard to shuffle through these quickly. So, Tony Gwynn, Frank Thomas, and a Barry Bonds insert in the very, in the very first pack. Pretty awesome stuff. I guess we'll do 99 Ultra next. Includes 99 rookies. Seven cards in this pack. It's for 239 when they came out in the U.S. Back in 1999. Couldn't tell you the last time I opened. A pack of these. Been a very long time. A little bit of stickiness, but it doesn't look like there's any paper loss, so that's a good sign. Charles Johnson. And we have our insert card of a Hall of Famer, so that's pretty awesome. Dustin Hermanson. And there is some paper loss in that one. Looks like he's spitting everywhere. <laughs> For the time of his life at the dugout. Wilson Alvarez, and RBI Kings Jim Tome. Coming through there. That's pretty freaking awesome, too. No paper loss on that one. It's kind of like embossed, too. So, two packs, two inserts. Pretty sick. Troy Percival and Oral Hershiser ends pack number two. Rife with inserts. Let's keep it going. Let's do O2 Donruss next. Serious leads us. I don't think I've ripped any of these before, ever. We keep it going here with the inserts. Corey Patterson starts it off. Fred McGriff. Pretty cool design, though. Jeff Bagwell. Ben Howard, rookie card. And Brady Anderson. So, Bagwell, or as Corey calls him, Bagpipes. Probably the best card in that pack. Let's do 98 Finest. We're looking for refractors and all kinds of different goodies in here. Series 1. And there are, what, six cards in this pack. I don't think I've ever opened one of these for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, so 
definitely give me some ideas here on different boxes to get. So Perez is now seen twice, two packs in a row. So that's going to put him on the, on the watch list. Tony Gwynn, once again. Always good to see him. David Wells, Jason Kendall, Jim Tomey again, Matt Karchner. So pretty good pack there, too. Pretty freaking good pack. Let's do, you know what, let's just do the 04 tops next. So we can find this Yachty. I opened a box of these a while back and pulled, I think, was it four or six Yachty Merlina rookie cards? So it's pretty freaking awesome. And also a crap ton of Felipe Alouz. And he was declared an omen from that point on. Andrew Jones. And it looks like we have something else coming up in here. Tim Wakefield and Mike Lieberthal. See the highlights. Don Trell Willis, Hobby Masters. I definitely know someone that would like that if they don't have their PC already. Guy that collects Don Trell Willis. There's Buck Showwater, Dusty Baker, Helton, and Russell Branion ends that pack. So, a nice looking insert card delivered from that one. We got three left. Let's do 03 Bowman Chrome next. We'll save the SPX and the Dharma's collection for last. These ones are pretty tough to open, apparently. And look at that. The kid right off the bat. Griffey. Very nice. Very freaking nice there. Griffey Jr., David Martinez, David Pahaki, and Darrell McCall. Or Daryl McCall. Name I'm not familiar with, rookie card. Griffey, very nice hit there. Continuing on, 04 Bowman Chrome. Hunting rookies. Bo Hart's going to start it off. We do have a refractor. It's going to be Bernie Williams for you Yankees fans. Nice one. Frank Thomas once again and Adam Dunn. So definitely getting some nice hits from these packs. Two insert, well, three insert cards, I guess. Count Dontrell Willis. And some nice names. Griffey, two Frank Thomas, Jim Tomey, Tony Gwynn. Let's do uh, collections next. Travis Lee on top of the pack there. I would have loved that as a kid. Or pack pulling his 97 Bowman and just losing my mind. Back in 97, that was a $50 card. And we have another Frank Thomas. That is crazy. Mark McGuire Fan Club starts it off. I guess it's part of the base set. But can't say that I have opened these before. Nice looking card. Big Mac... We got something here. Buckos, Tony Womack. Look at this one. This is pretty freaking awesome. Ken Caminetti. It's some sort of parallel. And it's a very nice looking card also. I'm not really sure what the odds on this one are. I shredded a pack wrapper. Or what it might even be called. So... If you know off the bat, let me know because that's a freaking awesome looking card. Langford, and look at that. Another Frank Thomas. So, three big hurts now in this box. Very nice pack to add into this selection. The last pack of the Money Box for the month of September. We have 04 SPX. Let's see what we can find in here. Another pack that I am not familiar with, never opened before. Palmero on the back. I've seen these before, though. They're pretty nice. Tim Hudson starts it off. Brett Boone, the propaganda piece. Craig Wilson, and we got Raphael Palmero. Very nice looking cards, though. Might be something I'm, I'm going to look into getting a box of these in the future because they're very good looking cards. But I'd say we did pretty well overall. Two insert cards um, worthy of mention. No offense to Dontrell Willis, but um, and a bunch of Hall of Famers and stars in those packs. Again, Millennium Box, SlaterSportsCards.com. If you're interested, they are $79.99 delivered directly to your door. They also have the Retro Wax Box in stock and the Lineage Box and a bunch of different stuff, something for everyone, basically. So check them out. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this rip, if you plan on getting a box, or what your favorite card was. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have a safe and happy rest of your Labor Day. And uh, I will see you guys all back for tomorrow night and turn back the clock Tuesday with two boxes of 2009 upper deck signature stars four autos per box should be a great time thanks for watching guys i'll see you tomorrow night